The Associated Press reports that newly published court documents in Israel show that the Israeli government sold or leased property in Arab neighborhoods of Jerusalem to Israeli settlers at exceptionally low prices, helping them cement a Jewish presence there. The documents are the first to show how easily settlers were able to put down stakes in these areas with the help of successive Israeli governments. The Arab neighborhoods are part of East Jerusalem, captured by Israel in the 1967 Mideast War and claimed by the Palestinians as a future capital. Expanding Israeli enclaves in these neighborhoods would make a partition of Jerusalem along ethnic lines as part of any peace deal exceedingly difficult. The documents were released to anti-settlement activists who sought a comprehensive accounting of the government's deals with two settler groups, Elad and Ararat Kohanim. The documents refer to 11 properties, but activist Dror Etke says the state is withholding information on other deals because nearly two decades ago, a government-appointed commission identified 68 land transactions involving the state and the two settler groups. The government lands agency, which controls almost all land in Israel, refused to comment. A huge plan in Har Choma was promoted uh, in a very sensitive uh, time of uh, peace process. Uh, we see it as a provocation by Netanyahu, which already did 10 years ago when he was the prime minister. He established Har Choma and destroyed the Oslo process. Today, he's trying to stop negotiations and to put all the blame on the Palestinians. East Jerusalem is the most volatile issue dividing Israelis and Palestinians. Settlers and their allies want Israel to retain control of the entire city, including the eastern sector captured from Jordan in 1967. Jewish settlers have for decades sought to buy property in Arab neighborhoods of East Jerusalem on the assumption that doing so would make it more difficult for Mideast negotiators to hand those areas over to Palestinians. This past week, senior Palestinian negotiator Saeb Arakat was in the U.S., saying that Israel needs to stop playing games and choose between settlements or peace. I think, I think this, as I said, you know, the key is in Netanyahu's hand. Prime Minister Netanyahu has the key to negotiations in his hand. Now he's closed the door. I cannot get him. When he stops settlements, he would open the door and I will get him. And that's the truth. The choice is his. Settlements or peace. He cannot have both. Look, since September 26, till now, we introduced 544 housing units in the West Bank, 312 housing units in East Jerusalem. The number he needs for 2011 is 1,611 housing units. So if he wants to finish all of this and then come to me and say, I will have a moratorium now, it's an unstarter. It's an unstarter. He needs to choose. And he has a choice to make. And his choices. Settlements or peace. So Netanyahu, you can't have both.